I've decided to take this one to talk a little bit about managing an empire as a nomad ruler at a point where we are this large. So why am I never really paying attention to any of this? Nothing which goes on over here. We're, we're really mainly focused on where our troops are, not so much about everything else. Now, I did say I wanted to look at factions, and we're going. There are none. <laughs> Like there's there's literally nothing going on. Why is there nothing going on? Well, what we've done is we've created as many kingdoms as we could and we tried to make them sort of similar in strength. So they, between themselves, shouldn't be able to shift around so much that someone really takes the lead. This guy has the lead. He is 41% uh, of our power. Or rather, 41% of all the power that we we derive from our vassals comes from this man. So he is very much a threat. However, he's counterbalanced by these two guys. So that's fine. What we really need to do to prevent ourselves from falling over ourselves all the time is just have a few marriages, some patrollers here with these guys, the, the top four or five. If these guys are on our side, even if it's just through a non-aggression pact, we don't really have to worry all that much anymore. That's how you secure it, that's how you deal with it. There's not a lot of reason to um, go out there and, and fiddle about with it too much. Even if we don't have a diplomacy focus. Now, of course, having high prestige does help. Um, but... You don't need to worry about any of this. Just really don't. If you want to worry about it, then you might look at your taxation. Because the feudal tax is kind of important and there's going to be people who are not going to pay you. So you check the vassals, you check the taxation, but it doesn't even matter. The, the income is not dependent on how much they like you. That only really happens or applies for city vessels and uh, bishops. They hate you, they're not gonna pay you. Um, yeah, so we don't, we don't really need to worry. The tributary we need to worry about the second we lose prestige. So these are just our, our backup backbone. If something should break loose here, these guys are going to be on our side. There's... There's nothing they can do about it, unless we absolutely disgrace ourselves entirely. We can even ignore the clan mechanic at this point. Because we're not forced to split our clans, we are just allowed to split our clans. These are unhappy with not having enough land, but just look at the prestige modifier we get. They can be as unhappy as they want, want to be, they're not going to do anything about it. And even if they did, they're so small and insignificant against all the vassals we got. Even if they had all the horses in the world, meaning our troops, they wouldn't be able to do much about it. And this is a insanely strong army. So there's not much to be done in managing your empire. What really is important is that you check your succession that there's no doubt in keeping everything in the family and you're pretty much set. When starting this series on the nomads, I did point out that they become ridiculously strong at some point. This happened way earlier than I expected because I hadn't played them in a while and I really mainly uh, was expecting to be crushed early on. But we survived. I don't, I don't care about any of this. All of this can be what it is. I, I do not care. Not one little bit. It doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. I mean, maybe one day I feel like, hey, Tibet would be a nice tributary. Let's get those as well. Because I'm, I'm a fan of having all these huge empires just bowing to us uh, for no reason other than, well, add a few more troops out there. I did want to get Bulgaria too. Maybe Bavaria, because I, th I, th I think it's kind of funny that there's this little tiny Germany and then there's this huge Bavaria thing sitting around. It's just 
funny to me. Uh, yeah, but... I mean, you could call it game over by now. There's not much more to achieve. Sure, you could go for the map painting and just take everything else. Personally, how I still find joy in moments like this is one, I know exactly that at some point, through some reason, such as the plague or something, things are going to get tough again. This will not always stay as peachy as it is. Every change of rulership is a challenge. Every incident could potentially mess everything up. There's a lot of moving pieces here that might undo most of what we worked for. Um, so, while there's one, always surprises ahead, there's two. Just role-playing the game. Looking at your character, looking at who you are, and making decisions more based on the accumulation of the traits you got than on what is necessarily the most prudent and sensible thing to do. Because very often, those things don't really align. So, for me, the fun in this game, to a large degree, derives from just being able to play around. Be, be a fool and still not completely get destroyed for being a fool. So, yeah, let's carry on with our looting party through Europe. All right, the book is composed. Everyone knows that I've spent several years directing the work on my book, when today I'm presented with the final work. Excellent, I, recommend, I commend my scribes, while I gently leave through on nomadic warfare. We get 100 prestige and we get the book on nomadic warfare. Ooh, if this gives us movement speed, I swear. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There. Oh, oh wow, this is even better than movement speed. Morale, damage, and defense plus 10%. Oh boy. This tome contains multiple chapters highlighting the many strengths of nomadic tactics in war, while educational critics argue that it is a bit too much. <laughs> okay. You cannot hold this unless you are a nomad. Which is good to know. It also doesn't seem to fall into this library ca cat category. No, it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. So we have four books equipped. The best of which we have. All is fine. Could gift this to the Chinese. But we're not gonna. We'll keep it all to ourselves. I probably have two axes. <laughs> Right. Also, we have the cool portrait being a hero now, where we have our eagle on our shoulder. Oh, one of our commanders died, and it looks like it might have been one of our sons, actually. That's unfortunate. So, let's go for Merit again. Which of our sons died? Died in personal combat. shame but such is war sometimes these things just happen can't always prevent it now it's worth to point out that we don't even have a war focus at all no martial focus we are in scholarship um we don't need business we don't need any of this I don't want to go to war because I already have all of this. I can go for hunting, but it's a bit too early. Have we built an observatory? Can we even build an observatory? Oh yeah, there we are. Let's start this then. I think that's that's good. Also, we should seek treatment for our illness and we start an observatory. And we ransom a bunch of people. 313 gold. Potentially. They might not pay. But we'll see if they do. Okay, we are brave, so we can suggest him give us a little bit more. And I think we should. Let's be brave here. 
our son has turned into a very experienced mercenary commander, which is good. Giving us him a lot of prestige per month. Alright. Do Wu made a drink draught of poppy before I was gonna Okay. So we're cured, but we're also severely injured and one-eyed now. That's okay. Now, one of the little details is that your character portrait changes based on what's going on with you. I love this about this game. We're scarred, we are one-eyed now. This is great. So we no longer have the great box, we're just severely injured, which will go away eventually. Might still die of it before, but chances are somewhat slim. We can't raid here and only go north. But there's already raiders. Not really worthwhile. We'll go here. To the Netherlands. Oh. There's a lot of money to be had in Boulogne. Boulogne. I don't know how to pronounce that. Right. I was thinking, considering giving this woman the Kingdom of France. Let's do it. I don't really I don't care for it. So this guy let's transfer the vassalage to her can we? Nope. Cannot transfer the vassalage. This vassalage we can transfer so we shall. I think we saw the kid there. Somewhere, there he is. Don't want the kid. I'd like to transfer this, but I can't. For some reason. Normandy does belong to this. Not sure why I can't transfer. Why can't I give you this, man? Really odd. Really quite odd. Oh well. We need a new steward and we'll take someone who's halfway competent and loyal. I have encountered hero units so many times while carrying out my duties for the Eagle Warriors. It's always pleasant. Another hero. Okay. Let's be friends. I'm building a shrine here. What else can we do? Boost in population and manpower. Sure. Sounds good. Let's do this. With the galvanizing presence of the Eagle Warriors to lead my troops, scores of new recruits are riding to Paris, abandoning their lives as shepherds to become warriors and earn immortal glory. Plus 1,000 population and 500 manpower. That's not bad. It's something worthwhile to spend on. We're just destroying everything around us. Doesn't matter to us. It simply does not matter one bit. We're just here to take. And not here to give. Oh no. We are scarred, which we were already... But we're also infected now. That's not good. Our injury has turned into infection. See what we might discover in the stars. Tekin is increasing his army size, very good. And the Byzantians are winning with the help of our troops. Very good. I mean I ruined this war for him. I'm I'm a little bit sorry. Just a little bit though. Not enough to do anything about it. Oh. 
Everyone married? You're not betrothed. To betroth you to someone. Let's betroth you to someone with a title so maybe we inherit weird stuff. It's always fun to inherit weird stuff. Can't we seek treatment for our illness? No. Does not look like it. Okay, this time we'll keep him and not sacrifice him. This time we're smarter. Very good. Let's see who we got here. A bunch of people who will get us a bunch of money. And we could build a great work. We could build a horse statue. We don't need to be crazy for this now. I don't think we should do that. To create a great stone circle. Yeah, let's build a horse statue. That sounds cool. That's just fitting. Yes. Let's build that. And it's unlikely we're ever going to move away from Paris anymore because it's one of the best counties to hold. Can we improve anything around here with our direct vessels? Yes, we can, so we shall. I mean, what else are we going to do with the money? Might as well improve our holdings around us, everything that's directly ours. Doesn't really hurt us. Have a university, sure, why not? Spend some of that radar money. Have we already raided everything here? Yes, we have. On we move. Is there even anything left to take? Much. Let's check out how the stars move. Oh, right, all our wars are done, so we should put down our troops again. Uh, we don't really care that they don't all return because they're their troops and our troops. So we're passively weakening them anyway. Uh, let's make sure that all our boys are boying around. Doing the very best boying. I don't care. We should send our... Uh, man to go spy on get us some technology really let's spy uh, where should we spy on our tributary because why not our threat level approaching 50% everyone is still very much in love with fighting us no, I doubt Oh, we can usurp a title. Hectic Kingdom of the... How did we... Okay, let's have it. It's ours now. And who does this belong to? Sultanate of Egypt. So you probably want this, don't you? Vadai. Grand landed title Vadai. There you have it. I don't care. Have the die. 
I just did you a favor. We have this for some reason. Oh, the Abbasid are fighting over here. What? That's amazing. Ah, ooh, ooh, technology points. Yes, 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 yes. Hello. Hello there, technology points. So what we got for all kinds of things. What's good for us? Tolerance. I like tolerance. And uh, it, I think, makes a lot of sense because we have a lot of cultures and religions beneath us. So that that's what we're going to do. Legalism is really close. So let's do legalism. Matter. Construction. Could go for construction. Doesn't cost much. Let's do construction. Infantry we don't need. Oh, we shall be temperate. Nothing to get here anymore. This doesn't connect. So now we start our merry-go-round again. These have recovered quite all right, well, we didn't get to raid these. Might not be as profitable as I was hoping, but okay. Still a little bit of manpower to be had. We don't want to spend it all on having our troops raised, because that way if we go into a fight, there's no one to replenish our troops. That's something to keep in mind when building your own horde. Manpower is important. Okay. Our... We're still supplying them on horses. We could kowtow toward them. Losing us some prestige. Maybe we have a good eunuch. Oh, yeah. But all of our good eunuchs are our good eunuchs. We'll send this man. Um. Let's send a gift, which is crazy. Do I want to Koto? Do we want a peace deal? I never really know how to measure their strength. Through this mainly. So commander title is open. And advisor title is open. Could put in the Sultana of France. Or the High Chief of Sana'a. Which I don't understand. Why are these my vassals? That's wrong. I don't want these. Mm. Let's put... Let's put him in. I mean... It's okay. We still have full control. Check our laws too. More prisoners to ransom. There's a bunch of plots in our realm. Holy hell. <laughs> oh boy. And we know most of them, probably. Anything cool for us to do? No. Not really. How much renown do we have? 140. Let's choose a military aspect. Let's do that. Oh, cool. So we can be a dualist, a strategist, or a hunter. Pursuit plus 20%. That is one of the battle tactics. Defense plus 20% is crazy good. Dualist is kind of fun, though. Hmm. 
Let's be a duelist. I don't think I've ever had a duelist. Or well, let's try to be a duelist because we are not yet a duelist. At least I don't see it. Might just pop in time. I've studied my soldiers practicing their swordmanship and I am certain that some of them are becoming unsettled by the constant watch of their Kagan. Perhaps it is time I admit that I could use some guidance when it comes to my own dueling. If nothing else, I could join their training. Uh... Yeah. Let's hire someone to help us. We have the money. Not like we lack for anything. Let's get some more clan sentiment up. How's our horse statue coming along? Well, it is coming. 6.1% done. Mounted troops plus 5% and archers plus 5%. <laughs> Be careful where you point that thing. A courtier cried out today as I was sauntering back from yet another session at the training grounds. Aldler playing with a sword in my hand. The woman hurriedly corrected herself. Of course, the master duelist such as yourself would know best, my lord. Indeed, I would. Indeed, I would. So, I mean, the obvious choice... Local movement speed doesn't help us much. Horse opinion is kind of cool. Part will definitely go for the mounted troops and archers. Not really creators, are we? Okay, we need to get more equipment to continue our observatory research, which of course we will immediately jump on. Nice to look at this, but we don't really care about this being there. Our clans might grow out here, we wouldn't even notice. I mean, this is still our grazing land there. Uh, who cares? What else can we create? Some kingdoms? Duchies. Ah, we're no longer infected. Nice. A daughter was born to my heir and their twin. So let's have them on etiquette and secure some decent something men. Oh, we want matrilineal. And something young that is also somewhat good. Attractive bastard. An attractive bastard. So Jon Snow, basically. A strong. Well, let's take him. Right, and you will be humility and I'll find you something good too. Maybe the attractive bastard. Since you got a club foot. Do that. Just want to keep the bloodline going, really. Very experienced mercenary commander. I don't know if that's any better than what he already was. Oh god, all these minor titles to give me. Let's give it to our Muslim rulers. They can use the boost in appreciation. How much prestige does our son have already? Not bad. Growing quite well. Oh, 
Our spy master is dead. No. Well, it happens. Spying on the world is a dangerous business. What? Okay, we looted a city for 40 gold. Oh man. Ah, it was a temple, not a city. Crazy strong. I'm a little bit afraid of him dying. He's the founder of our bloodline, the founder of the empire, to be honest. He had the daring plan to do this. Crazy. Yeah, we shall duel for honor. Some other time. Some other time. 